And welcome to Policy on Demand's Week in Review. I'm Rohit Kumar. What would you tell clients are your takeaways from this week? So my key takeaways from this week are the retirement of Speaker Pelosi as speaker or leader, but still staying in the House, and the turning of the guard over to a new generation of leaders led by Hakeem Jeffries, who will be the new Democratic leader. Meanwhile, on the Republican side in the Senate, uh, Senator McConnell stays on as Senate Republican leader. Kevin McCarthy is nominated to be Speaker of the House, but still has some work to do to get 218 votes on the House floor in January. Which question related to policy did you get asked the most and how did you respond? So the question I got asked most this week was what happens between now and the end of the year, particularly with a tax extenders package? And the answer I gave was, you know, it really depends on whether or not they can get a government funding agreement, because I view getting an agreement on government funding, both a top line number and a defense, non-defense split as sort of the key to unlocking the potential or the possibility uh, for a tax extenders package. It won't make an extenders package happen, but uh, in the alternative, if there's no government funding agreement and they end up just punting a continuing resolution into spring of 2023, then I think that will naturally carry with it a punt on all decisions, tax and maybe even debt limit. And so we really need a government funding agreement to come together to have a chance of getting an extended package. Where should companies focus their attention in the coming week? So for this coming week, I think, the, at least in the tax world, the key should be, do they get that government funding agreement? Senator Leahy, who is the chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee, has said recently in the press, he's having productive conversations with Senator Shelby, who's the top Republican on the Senate Appropriations Committee, and that those conversations will continue even into next week, despite the House and Senate being out for the Thanksgiving recess. And really, you know, if they reach an agreement, they will that will not be a secret, they will make that public. And sort of all eyes on what happens that first week after Thanksgiving, do they have an agreement? Are they starting to write the appropriations bills? Because if they do, I think that kickstarts the beginning of an extenders conversation. 